Good afternoon, Eric with Master Tool Repair here. Uh, today I'm going to go through a power tool diagnosis video or troubleshooting a power tool. Uh, just some basics, uh, pretty general uh, steps here I'm going to show you and uh, some points basically to give you some guidance on what to look for when you have certain problems with your, uh, with your tool, um, whether it be sluggish performance, whether it outright just doesn't run or operate. Um, if you have grinding, you know, grinding sounds and gears and sparking, what have you, any any issue, I'll kind of hit the basic uh, points here. Uh, troubleshooting. You already have most of the star bits that hold the handle half on unscrewed. Most of these are star bits now, and this is a T20 size uh, bit. You have T15, T20, T25s. Uh, most of these tools use a T15 or T20 star bit. So remove the handle and all your electricals. There you go. You have your motor, you have your brushes, and of course your field inside the motor. You have your power cord. It runs up to your switch. Uh, so there you are. And most of your power tools will look just like this. Uh, your corded power tools. And a lot of the switches may be wired differently, of course. Um, you have a lot of variety there. But uh, pretty simple as far as, you know, uh, see no power at all. Or if it's intermittent, the tool sometimes starts and runs, sometimes it doesn't. Um, that's usually pretty simple. Uh, defective cord, say there's a short in the cord, possibly the switch, a wire is cut, brushes you know are getting too short. So most of the time you find just uh, intermittent tool problems um, easily diagnosed by replacing uh, the cord or the switch or even one of the wires. So obviously if you hear grinding that's not good. That usually means that uh, it's a drive gear. Uh, armature gear possibly, you have debris stuck inside of the gear box. Um, usually that re requires replacing the tool. Uh, not always, if you have a very good piece of equipment, something, uh, an expensive tool, then you'll probably want to uh, replace it. So you can get gearbox kits, motor assembly kits. Uh, you can still get gears and still get parts for some products nowadays, believe it or not. I know it's hard to believe, but some products are replaceable. Um, some parts are replaceable. So that's pretty uh, obvious if you have a gear problem. Um, you yeah, know, it's pretty serious repair, but especially electrical issues. Um, had the cord visible here and the brushes. First thing to look for as far as sluggish performance, say an intermittent, um, or if it, uh, it runs intermittently or doesn't run at all, you want to grab a multimeter if you can. Uh, these are about 20, 25 bucks at like Radio Shack. I mean, it's an analog multimeter and it uh, just tests for continuity. So uh, if you're somewhat technically inclined to do this um, and technically able uh, you can do this it's pretty simple or take it in you know, to a repair shop they'll easily diagnose it for you but this is really helpful and to diagnose and I have another video on uh, testing for continuity and current using an analog multimeter and multimeter uh, digital or analog so I would check that video out as well that gives you a little more detail but also look for the cord make sure you don't have wires um, actually bare, you know, to make sure the insulation is covering the wires, make sure it's not touching anything. Um, you know, make sure all of the switch, wires in the switch are installed securely. This is like a push lock kind of um, installation here. The wires kind of push and lock into place. So make sure you tug on them. At, excuse me. Make sure you tug on it and it's, you know, it doesn't, uh, you can't remove it easily. So. Uh, the switch you can test again if you have a multimeter, but some switches are a little difficult to test. But you just look for the obvious and the cord. Make sure it's not frayed. Like I said, um, you know when you run it, make sure to wiggle the cord. Kind of you can even hit the tool uh, kind of with a rubber mallet while it's running. Make sure that uh, nothing is loose. You have no shorts, and uh, that's a really kind of a good uh, method right there. Um, you can test the cord, it's pretty simple, uh, once you, and check out the other video on how to test the cord, but mainly the brushes. A lot of brushes like this, uh, brush here, have a little spring, an arm that holds the brush in place on the armature, which is the motor armature commutator, the copper, um, and you have to have a complete circuit, and you have to have the brushes long enough to touch the commutator. If they're, you know, they wear down, they get short, and they won't actually touch uh, the armature itself and create a full circuit. So brushes are cheap. That's the most common problem honestly you find with any power tool. So I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit there on the brush. 
and you'll see how to remove it. This is pretty standard uh, brush and this is how most of them are installed. So you'll take the little arm here, take a little small screwdriver, flip it up, and hold it back there with that screwdriver, lift that little guy up, and you'll see that carbon brush nice and long. So this one's in good shape. The armature is nice and clean. It's not you know too dirty or too, there's no uh, segments missing. It's not too worn down. You can dress armatures as well. Um, if you have a lot of, uh, say it's starting to spark or smoking, uh, you can dress an armature. You can buy, uh, probably at a hardware store, uh, you can buy armature dressing uh, blocks and basically clean up the armature a little bit, the commutator. Uh, but these brushes are nice and long. And we're just going to fit them right down there, back where they came. And the spring puts tension on it, so it touches the armature. Uh, that's really about it. Uh, pretty simple to do basic diagnosis on power tool. If you have any further questions, you can uh, go on our forums and uh, you know, post your question. And our text can certainly help you out further. We have more uh, you know, documents online to help you out as well for a little more detail. And uh, once again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.